Hi guys, my name is Adam and I am with the County of Wellington's Green Legacy Program. And today we are going to go through step by step how to plant your seed kits. Before we do that, I want to talk about everything that you see in front of me, because everything you see in front of me should be everything that you need to plant your seeds. Now, you will have received a styrofoam block that's labeled. You'll also receive a tray. You'll have a bag of 45 red oak acorns a bag of mulch, and an instruction sheet. We also have some water. We're going to need that for later. I happen to have it in a watering can. You can use whatever you happen to have in your classroom. All right, our first step is to make a little space in each of the cells for the acorns to sit. And the way we're going to do that is by removing a little bit of soil with your finger. Now you don't want to push and pack the soil down, so you don't want to poke a hole in the cell. You want to gently sort of scoop it away and leaving the extra soil just around the edge. That way we're not compacting the soil and making it harder for the acorn to grow. So I've taken our bag of acorns out of the refrigerator and we are going to plant each acorn in each cell, one per cell, and we're going to lay them down on, on their side, just like they would sort of lay on a forest floor. And we we'll put it right in. Now, if you find an acorn that has a little white root coming out of the end, that little white root is called a radical we want to make sure that that is pointing down. That way, the acorn will know which way for its roots to grow. And we'll just continue this until each of the acorns is filled in each of the cells. Now that we have an acorn in each of the cells, we just want to check and make sure that all the acorns are at the right depth. And if you see any that are sticking out just a little bit too high, you can gently nudge them down and snug them in. We don't want to shove them down into the center of the block, but we just want to make sure that they're covered enough. Now, once you're happy with your block, you can use the soil that you removed when you made the hole to cover the acorn back over. Just do your best to make sure that the acorn is covered as much as possible. Now that your acorns are completely covered and your block looks like this, we are going to cover it liberally with the mulch. Now the mulch is just wood shavings. They're pretty fluffy and we just want to cover the entire thing as best we can, making sure that you're covering up all of the dirt. This will help protect the acorns from drying out as they start to grow. Once you have everything covered, if there's any extra mulch, feel free to add that and make sure everything is nice and covered. Now that we have all of our block mulched, we're going to go on to our final steps, which is watering and placing it in a sunny spot. Now it may look like there's too much mulch on the block, but don't worry, it will pack down when you water. 
We're going to water it gently. We don't want all the mulch just to run off. So we're going to be as gently as possible, making sure all of those cells get a little drink. You don't want to keep the block wet. You just want it moist. Now that your mulched block is watered, we're going to move it to a sunny spot. Here at Green Legacy, we have a nice sunny window, but in your classroom, just pick the brightest, sunniest spot you can find. Now you may not notice a lot going on in the first week or so, but after about two weeks, you should start to notice little sprouts coming up where each acorn was. After about two weeks, you should start to see the whole block being filled out in three to four weeks, you should start to see something that looks like a tree. Now don't worry, these seedlings are not going to outgrow this block. So even though it looks, it may look like it's gonna be crowded, it's not, they'll be perfectly comfortable. Thanks for watching this video and helping us plant these red oak acorns. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you like and refer back to the written instructions. Happy planting.